everyone, welcome to 7th grade math and today we're going to be learning how to find the volume of cubes and prisms. So we're asked what is the volume? And in order to find the volume of a cube or a rectangular prism, what all we have to do is do length times width, that's a very bad times symbol, times height. And normally when we're trying to find the area of a square or a rectangle, we'll do length times width. But when we're moving on to volume in seventh grade, we will also have to multiply it by height because as you can see, there's three here. There's three, um, three different uh, lengths right here. There's this one, which is, you can say it's the length. There's this one, which you can say is the height. I know that's a really bad line. And there's this one, which you can say is the width. Or you can say this is the height and this is the width. So we're basically asked what is the volume. And all we have to do is do 8 times 8 times 8. Now, 8 times 8 is 64. So what is 64 times 8? I'll give you a moment to do this in your head, or you can try and get a piece of paper and do it on that too. Simple way to do this is do 8 times 60, which is 100 and, no, not 100, 400 and 80 plus 4 times 8. Well, oh, that's the plus sign, sorry. Supposed to be a plus sign. Plus 4 times 8, which is 32. So we know that the number will end with 32. We can already cross out the last two answers, which are this one and this one, the first two, actually. And we can say that this one is the correct answer because it's basically just an estimation. Oh, not this one, sorry. This one is the correct answer because it's an estimation game. I honestly can confuse it for this answer, and I did, but in this case, it's not. It's this one. Let's try one more. So this is the same thing. 7 times 6 equals to 42 times 1 equals to 42. So we have 42 right here. So I know this was a short video. I hope I helped you understand how to find the volume of cubes and prisms. It's basically, it's not that hard as it seems, but I hope you guys will enjoy this video and, and make sure to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it and comment down below any questions, comments, or ideas you have on next videos or this video. And I'll see you all next time. Have a great day and bye.